What you see here is a Diedrich 70 kilo coffee roaster made in Pend Oreille, Idaho. It's one of the largest coffee roasters in Ohio, and you'll find it at Steel Valley Brew Works in Boardman's Southern Park Mall. As the sun was setting this evening over Boardman's Steel Valley Brew Works, the sound of 80 pounds of raw coffee beans being readied for roasting was available for anyone to hear and smell inside Boardman's Southern Park Mall in what owner Josh Langenheim believes is the only roastery inside a mall. We love when people come in and say hi with us. We love to show people the process. That's why you'll notice that the entire room is completely glass and open. And again, we're in a shopping center because we want to show people our craft. We're very proud of it. The bags of beans stacked against the back wall come from various parts of the world. Colombia, Brazil, Indonesia, Mexico. And we have started the roasting process of that next batch of Smoky Hollow. Smoky Hollow is one of 26 types of coffees made in the Brewworks roaster. To make sure the beans are roasting properly, there's a spoon Langenheim can pull from the machine for checking. See how now we're getting into the browning part? We're starting to get a little bit of that smoke off there. That's what we want. The entire process is computerized for easy consistency. So if you enjoy this Smoky Hollow, whether you get it this week, next week, or a year from now, it's the exact same coffee. After about 12 minutes of roasting, the beans are done. And this is our fresh roasted coffee. Doesn't get much fresher than that. The beans come out at 450 degrees, but are cooled to room temperature in 25 seconds. They're a rich, dark brown and will be used for espresso. They're cleaned of pebbles and twigs before being dropped into large pails and left to sit for 24 hours. The entire process takes 15 minutes. Today, 3,000 pounds of beans were roasted, enough to supply the brew house, all the stone fruit coffee shops, and a few outside clients for a week. But the roaster could make 8 million pounds a year, and Langenheim hinted he'd like to push it. But I have the ability here, again, with that 8 million pounds yearly, I could probably produce enough coffee for the entire state of Ohio, should we get those accounts. Here's a recommendation from Josh Langenheim himself. He wrote what he calls a tapachigata blend. The spelling is over my shoulder. He buys the beans directly from a farm in El Salvador. Langenheim called it an elite rare blend, something you won't get anywhere else. That one from the master himself.